So one of the questions we get asked here a lot in the paleontology lab is how to tell the original fossils from the replicas we might have on display. Right here we have some photographs from the excavation site where Y-Rex, our original T-Rex specimen, was originally discovered. This here is one of the toe claws as it was discovered as it was being excavated. And actually just here next to it, I happen to have the original specimen. Now this is after it has been prepared and restored. You can actually even see the patterns of breaks just here matching up. Now we don't have this on display even though we have a significant amount of Y-Rex's original bones on display because of the exceptional preservation of this foot. This is such a scientifically valid specimen we don't want to put it out somewhere where it's unaccessible to researchers or potentially accessible to guests in their reach. Keep it safe from damage. Exactly, to keep it safe, yes. We're out here in the hall with the original Y-Rex specimen now. And if we come down to take a closer look at this left foot just here, that central toe claw, you might even be able to spot the same break pattern on the original fossil. It's a very accurate cast. In fact, these are often referred to as uh, museum grade or research grade replicas, meaning that they are so accurate you can almost study the replica bones rather than having to look at the originals. Now, as I mentioned, these feet are too scientifically important uh, to actually put on display to risk damage or make them inaccessible to researchers. However, a lot of the original material is actually on display on Y-Rex out here. And I happen to have here with me our map of at least some of the original uh, bone elements that were found with Y-Rex. Not all the ones that were originally discovered, not necessarily all of these again are gonna be on display. For instance, the skull there was too damaged to really bother to mount. Uh, but if we look at this left hand side of the skeleton, you'll notice things like this left femur just up there. That's an original bone actually mounted on display. Just beneath that, below the knee, that smaller bone running along the left hand leg just there, also going to be an original, but it's paired right next to a cast replication of a uh, the left tibia. The original elements that the mounting hardware there, the brackets that are holding it up are what we actually call a jewelry mount. So not unlike a gemstone on a ring or on a necklace, the metal is actually gonna wrap around the outside, cradling the original fossils. We compare that to our other mounted T-Rex specimen just here, Bucky, who is a complete cast, you'll notice that the metal is actually running through the middle of the bones. We won't actually drill into bones to mount them, at least not anymore. Historically, that was done in the past, but jewelry mounts are now the standard for all museum mounts of original specimens. So here in the Hall of Paleontology, we have an excellent example of both a replica mounted just here in a very active, moving pose. This is of a Dedelphodon, a Cretaceous uh, uh, mammal relative. And then this is actually the original skeleton mounted for display. Once again, if you're looking at those elements, you can kind of see very cleverly hidden behind each one of those bones is gonna be a metal support framework. Unlike with the replica, where again, you can't really see the metal framework, it's all hidden inside of the casts. While every single real fossil isn't always out on display, these visual clues will help you understand if you're looking at a replica or the real deal. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out and subscribe to our awesome podcasts, link below. And as always, stay safe and stay curious.